Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kurt, and welcome to a preview look at Gravity Ghost. This is an indie game by Ivy Games that I actually learned about at the last PAX Prime. And the, the developers there, uh, particularly Erin Robinson, is the main developer. She goes by Lively Ivy on Twitter and elsewhere around the internets has been developing this game and was kind enough to give me a pre-release press build, like I said, back <laughs> around PAX Prime last year, so uh, this isn't representative at all as to where the, the development is going. And actually, she's just started to, on Twitch, uh, on her Twitch channel, she's starting to do, like, live dev shows where she's continuing to develop Gravity Ghost and broadcast as she develops. So very cool stuff, which is why it kind of reminded me, hey, I haven't played this game yet. Uh, but I'm going to play a little bit of Gravity Ghost here, probably the first few levels to get the uh, the feels down. Links are in the vis bleh, are in the vidya description below. Uh, should be released this year, I think. There's no release date specifically set on the website, but you can pre-order for $9.99, and then you get two copies, one for yourself and one to give away to anybody you would like. Uh, after it goes full release, it will be $14.99 for a single copy. Uh, very cool. Very cool stuff, so I'm just going to get started. Space! Space to start. It's kind of this hand-drawn look. Obviously, the story really hasn't been built in, she tells me. All the audio isn't necessarily there. Basically, you are this character who loses her dog, or wolf, or some sort of companion. Ah, parallels. And uh, throughout these worlds, we have to go check out and try to find uh, the wolf, I guess. Uh, I'm using the keyboard and mouse. Actually, at PAX, when I tried it out, she had a... Uh, an Xbox 360 controller, and I asked her, I'm like, you know, I, the controllers are kind of weird. I'm not a fan of the Xbox controllers to begin with. And she said, no, I'd actually recommend playing it with the keyboard better uh, than, than a controller, but... To each their own. I suppose these are the tutorial missions. Uh, WASD. And Space to Jump sends you in orbit. So that's, alright, so it's kind of... A little bit, uh, you can change direction in the air. All right. All right, that's interesting. Okay, so D is clockwise, A is counterclockwise. I keep wanting to go D and then A to kind of keep the momentum, but you don't have to do that. You just hold one way. Okay, so if I just keep holding D, I will continue going in orbit. Very cool. Obviously not your... Kerbal Space Program level of orbital mechanics and whatnot, but you have these kind of in space. It's very, I like the style, like I said, a hand-drawn style, even the backgrounds, the textures. Wait, how do I change direction? Okay, there we go. It's very, there's a lot of layers that keep shifting, a lot of I guess parallax between all the stars and the, the layers in the background and my cursor that's been on the screen the entire time. All right, okay, so we've we've determined we've determined the the amount of controls that you have. Okay, there's a bunch of tutorial levels. I suppose we'll go through the tutorial levels. Maybe we'll just go through this one constellation and then as you can see, there's all these additional constellations that you have to unlock. And the thing I like about it, and the thing she was saying, is that it's very... There is no, uh, how do I space to go to that one? The planet you're orbiting will glow. Okay, that's, that's helpful. Whoa! Okay, and then... That one starts glowing. Got it. Now I'm orbiting that one, but now I'm back to this one. Alright. Orbital mechanics! Uh, what was she saying? Oh, it's, it's... Kind of a, I don't want to say a casual game, but a game where there's no fail state. Like, you can't die. You can't fail a mission and have to start it over. It's basically just keep trying until you, you reach the goal, uh, which is cool. I, as you've seen my frustrations through games like PID, or, uh... Wait, what do I gotta do? Oh, I gotta get the, okay, got it. That makes sense. 
I understood that. There's a star on the door, a gold star. That means I have to collect the gold star before I can enter the door. Got it. It's like a key. Uh, so yeah, that's that's a very cool thing that I, I I wish more games. Obviously, it only works in certain situations. You can't have a Call of Duty game where you never die. You could, but regardless, uh, you know, it's kind of a a different approach to gaming to be less, you know, rage quit type inducing and more just kind of, uh, like I say, I hesitate to say casual, but perhaps, perhaps, uh, you know, just less frustrating. All right, up always means up, even if you're upside down. Got it. I got that. Flowers make your trail longer. Okay, why would I want my trail longer? Is that like your momentum? Alright, collecting flowers! Space flowers... Ah, oh, okay, now I got captured by this thing. Dang it! And I want to get to this one, I want to get that, uh... Alright, now I need to get the... the gold star! The, uh, the music! Very good music in the background that you're hearing is from... The same composer that did the music for Faster Than Light, FTL, which I haven't played, but many people want me to, although it's not really my type of game, to be honest. That roguelike type situation. A lot of other people play it, but yeah, the, the same composer for that made the music here. Alright, woo! Alright, it takes some getting used to. I'm finding it difficult to remember that the clockwise versus anti-clockwise. All right, we can orbit. Oh, oh, get, get, ah. Uh. All right, so we're orbiting the four, four moons here. Uh, 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 just, there we go. Cancel out the momentum. Now let's get to this one. Very nice. And as we go here, I'm assuming the puzzles are going to get more and more Difficult. All right, let's do a quick jump over here. Very nice. I guess this is what you could call a, a, a platformer. Am I right? There's some some jumping involved. Whoop! No, 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 no! I want I, I want the flower. Woo! Whoa, that was weird. Ha! <laughs> All right. Now let's get that one. All right, I've gotten all the flowers. Oh, oh! I was on the correct trajectory. Of course, now I'm being thrown out into interstellar space. All right, let's just do a little hop out of jump and then bring ourselves back like a glove. Oh, see, see, <laughs> now things are happening. All right, how to do this? Ali oppa, up, 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 up. All right, we're getting dragged in. And the music has suddenly stopped, <laughs> so perhaps something that's still, oh, still being worked on. All right, now let's grab this one, is orbiting at a much higher velocity. No, 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 Ah, oh. All right, let's get some momentum. Hell's blazes! And, yeah! Oh, dear. <laughs> All right, oh, yep, see, clock counterclockwise, let's go back this way. Did I land? Yes, I landed on the right thing. Oh. I wonder if that could actually happen. Is that, like, possible? Having a four... four-body system? I'm speaking... cosmologically. Whoa! It's getting a head rush doing that. Oh, I, that! I'm trying to get the... the gold star. Here we go. Ah, oh, I just missed it. I think I'm gonna have to jump. Huh. No. No. I'm speaking astronomically. If there could be... A stable system. I suppose if you have both centers of gravity orbiting each other, I just feel like it would probably be a little bit too chaotic to be incredibly stable. I mean, there are triplets, triple stars and whatnot, but I don't know about quintuple. Quintuple? Is that the word? Quint quintuplets. Oh. Wait, what's happening here? They're doing that. All right. Oh, oh, and there's like the flowers and things. Okay, so you're 
I'm assuming maybe maybe your tail is like your points because I'm not seeing any particular difference in the the flight mechanics the flight mechanics <laughs> in the in the general uh, <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for the uh, oh yep yoink in my uh, oh yeah that's the way you do that in my basic uh, I'm trying to think of the Kerbal Space Program wordage the Delta V that's the word I was looking for based on the length of of her her uh, tail I'm not seeing any any increase in Delta V <laughs> thrust to weight ratio yeah <laughs> uh, okay this one's gonna be tougher oh that guy's flying all right okay this one yeah there's a lot of you know you try to imagine that the orbiting uh, mechanics are actually gonna help you but like that one just screwed me up that guy just went around damn you moon moon all right uh. oh and there's this little one too oh maybe I could just yeah let's just ride this guy for a while yeah I should be able to pick up the flowers yeah, man. Whoa, watch your head. <laughs> Yoink! This is probably not the most exciting way to ta tackle... Tackle this. Oh, yoink! Haha! -ha. Didn't even realize I was on the path. Okay, yeah, this is the perfect way. Reminds me of, uh... What are those little, uh, things you had as a kid? You put the pen in and it goes around on a gear. It's a, uh... The doodle thing. The doodle oodle. Whoa! All right, yeah, cancel out my... Let's just go back down. The doodler. Oh, wow, I've I've gone through this entire setup here. Okay, so now, is this like a boss? A boss fight? The Salamander Guardian. We've been through planets, ring of planets, spinning star, hyptocoid, and now the Salamander Guardian. Oh, dear. Okay, there are different types... There are different things here. It's a little bit of a jump there, and there, and there. Oh, double tap to dash. Oh, okay, there we go. Now we're changing our, our delta V. <laughs> oh, wait, slow down a bit. Ah! Oh, God. Okay, this guy. I got it. You stink. You are no salamander king. Is there, like, any... Oh god, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the salamander. All right. Tap tap. I need. Uh oh, I'm in kind of a weird eccentric orbit here. Tap tap. I need to thrust on my at my periapsis or my apoapsis. Yeah, I don't think there's anything special. Tap tap. Nope. Okay, there must be a a limit on your tap tappiness. All right. Yep. 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 Let's come back in. Reentry. Reentry. Very interesting indeed. So I, I was gonna try to see. Whoop! Sorry. Oh, I see. I have ten points. I need thirty to unlock that. Twenty-five, twenty, fifteen, ten. Bouncy planets. All right. I feel like. Let me just take a look. I'm not gonna go through this entire wolf, wolfy, <laughs> if you will. Uh, but I, I do remember seeing a bunch of different uh, planetary mechanics. I just want to show off really quick, and then. Uh, I'll probably stop here because like I said, this is an old press build. I don't want to be misrepresenting any any new directions the game might have gone, but it's very cool. And I do like how it is. Oh yes, those are those are indeed bouncy planets. You know, I am looking forward to when it gets fully released. Maybe we'll do a full-on let's play. Oh, are there no flowers to be had around the bouncy planets? Tap tap! Thrust! Oh gosh. I see no flowers. All right, slow it up. No, no, I wanna. There we go. Ooh. Bounce in. Oh. This is like gonna be like ping pong. Yep, yep. That's what I thought. All right, I've gotta make sure not to hit any of the planets. Dang. All right. Yep, 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 yep. Ha ha. Ow. Oh, God. My brains. All right. Now let's launch ourselves. There we go. 
We opt out. Dang it. Let's go back. No, no, back. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. No, no. Bop, bop, bop. Dang it. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I should double tap is what I should do. Tap, tap. All right, let's... Let's get out of the influence of the bouncy spheres. And... Perfect landing. So yeah, there are many, many different ways. And I'm assuming throughout... Whoa, see, these are new. There's gonna be, like, new mechanics. As, as the game progresses. Ice. These are ice planets. Yep, you can't stop moving. You kind of slide on them. I also remember seeing planets that, like, break apart when you hit them or land on them. I don't think that these are the ones. Oh. No, no, no. Oh. Dang it. Mm. There's no... <laughs> there's no need to be frustrated, Kurt. There's no fail state. I just got through talking about that. There we go, get this this guy, very nice. Uh, get that guy and then double tap. Oh, I double tapped the wrong way. All right, let's get some momentum going up this way. alley -oop, double tap. And... Yoink! All right, just do a bit. All right, Nana's landing, landing. No, oh, that's interesting. If you're carrying too much speed, you'll just slide right off the ice planet. All right, now let's... No! Ah! Dang it. Yep, yep, just... There we go, okay. Whew! Um... I want to keep playing. But again, <laughs> I don't want to spoil too much. Uh, let me just see what bubble wrap is about, and then we'll call it right there. Maybe these are the ones, the bubbles, they break. And then they bounce, alright. Yep, okay, stop. All right, so we can land on them. Oh god, I hope that I'm not like ruining my chances here. Okay. Yeah, let's just get that. Don't, don't, don't. Oh hey, that was that was lucky right there. I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of luck in the early points of the game. There was a flower over there, and there's one over here. Oh, oh those. See when I break the planets, the gravity disappears. Stop, stop. Just cease and desist. Don't. Dang it. All right, I'm gonna do a, do a flyby. Oh, it was blue. Yes, like that. Haha. -ha. I should start playing pool or billiards or whatever it's called in your country of choice. Uh, all right, I'm on the right trajectory. Oh, I want the flower. Whoop. All right, let's try to do that. Nope, nope, that was too soon. That was too soon. Let's do this, and then... Oh! Dang it. All right, if I stop... Oh, nope, can't stop. Won't stop. Th All right, land. Oh, too bouncy. You're too bouncy, man. Your surface. Yeah! Oh, 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 I might get it this time. Yes! Like a glove. All right, so there we go. Gravity Ghosts, gravityghost.com, like I said, link in the doobly doo below. Uh, keep an eye on the further development and development. <laughs> English is not my strong suit. Uh, if you pre-order, like I said now, you get two copies. Uh, yeah, very cool. Um, I don't want, like I keep saying, not. I don't want to say casual, but a very uh, cool, non-frustrating, you know, almost relaxing game. I feel like I could play this after doing UHC to calm myself down <laughs> to bring the uh, the heart rate back down to a to a safe and healthy level. Uh, and and I don't know, maybe it seems like a game that you could like share with your quote unquote non-gamer friends to kind of get them involved in in PC gaming. It could, you know, I'm not sure uh, the different platforms that this is going to be made available for, but uh, it could almost uh, depending on the controls, it could go for kind of a mobile uh, gaming platform. It seems like it would do really well in as well. But regardless, thank you so much for watching. This is Gravity Ghost, and I am Kurt. I will see you next time. <laughs>